वेलकम टू माई चैनल मैं हूँ अनुप्रिया कपूर एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट माई वियतनाम ट्रिप मैं लास्ट वीक वियतनाम गई थी एंड आई थॉट आई शेयर माई आइटनरी एज वेल एज ऑल द डिटेल्स दैट आई कैन अबाउट वियतनाम विद द करेंसी विद द वीजा हाउ टू गेट देर एंड हाउ टू ट्रेवल विद इन द कंट्री एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा सो दिस वॉज माई सेकेंड टाइम इन वियतनाम एंड ट्रस्ट मी Uh, my experience this time was even better when i went there it's a beautiful country it offers lush landscapes it offers city life it offers uh, you know a peek into a very different culture than what we have here so vietnam should definitely be on your list so day when i took the direct flight from delhi to hanoi which is about 4 and a half hour to 5 hour flight uh, and the reason being because i wanted to go to ninh binh i wanted to go to halong bay and i wanted to go to hoi an which are all easily accessible from hanoi than ho chi minh city however if you have a longer itinerary plan definitely include ho chi minh city unfortunately i could not anyways so uh, landed in hanoi uh, hanoi is a bustling bustling city uh, it's also the capital of vietnam it's a very busy city uh, and you know the moment you enter you feel like ki tum delhi aa gaye ho to be honest uh, but yeah so we actually did a early check in because my flight bahut subah pahunchi thi early morning around 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock and uh, we did a early check in into the airbnb the airbnbs are super super inexpensive there and really nice one so we took the airbnb at uh, close to the old quarter and now the city has old quarter where pretty much all the you know uh, hustling and bustling happens uh, so we took uh, the the airbnb close to that and uh, and the airbnb was very cute i'm leaving the details here very comfortable the owner was really nice and it was walking distance from the train street which i really really wanted to go is the train street overhyped instagram ki wajah se because you know everybody goes there not at all it is a vibe and you definitely must must go there it is lovely you know there are cafes uh, around the, uh, the the railway line and you have people living there uh you have a lot of tourists coming there sitting and enjoying the place we went in the morning and again in the night as well because jo train timings hain wo fixed hote hain so you will have to go there and find out ki aaj kitne baje train aa rahi hai in case you really want to see the train pass by up close which we did uh so we uh, went to train street uh, first then we went to a couple of cafes because hanoi is known for its coffee culture like you have amazing cute cafes everywhere so we went to this place uh, which is very instagramable a place called note coffee the entire coffee shop is full of notes by different people then we went to the uh, harry potter themed cafe called always which i wanted to go because i am a potter head and in the evening uh, we went to this place called beer street it is amazing it's a short street uh, but the vibe is so good on that street you know you have chota chota sa um, tables kept outside and chairs literally which were meant for like toddlers uh, kept outside the street is so busy and there's so much street food and very inexpensive and lots of variety of beers you also actually have a couple of uh, you know clubs where you can dance uh, there was amazing techno music playing there i love the vibe uh, if you're a vegetarian you will still get options to eat there like i eat chicken so i had absolutely no problems but even if you're a vegetarian you might get couple of options there apart from this if you are interested in history and architecture you can actually go to the st joseph's cathedral which is also called the notre dame of vietnam it's a 19th century old church uh, which i skipped uh, there are also museums that you can visit so for us hanoi was just one day and we packed in as much as we could as per our interests so day 2 we went to this place called ninh binh it is beautiful uh it's about 2 hours from hanoi now we did a day trip but you can also choose to stay there um and uh, for ninh binh you can actually book the tour uh through local operators which are as good as the ones which are available on kluk i will give the details in the description mostly the cost is very similar uh, what we chose the option was from there was a bus option and there was a limo option which is basically nothing but a big van uh, so we chose chose the limo option because the number of people were lesser and so ninh binh used to be the erstwhile capital of vietnam 
It's, it's actually located on Red River Delta. It's beautiful with limestone structures. Uh, it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site too and I can't describe how beautiful it is. Uh, you can see the footage here. Uh, so yeah, they took us uh, on a bus, uh, uh, no, it's on a limo and we did two hours uh, on the boat, which was beautiful. We went and saw a beautiful pagoda as well, uh, post which they took us to the viewpoint uh, from where you could see the entire city of Ninbin and it was beautiful it was tiring but beautiful my tip would be here that carry uh, you know trekking shoes or you know shoes which are really really comfortable and wear clothes which are also comfortable preferably shorts and t-shirt because it can get really warm so we got back from ninbin to hanoi around 6 37 we freshened up and quickly hurried for dinner uh, now hanoi apart from beer street shuts down early so in case you're looking out to eat in a good restaurant or in a fancy restaurant or an indian restaurant then jaldi nikalna because das sare das tak most of the places start shutting down actually they do shut down and even if you want to shop uh, you know, the shops usually close by 9, 9.30. On day three, we went to Halong Bay, even though I wanted to go to Kadba, which is less touristy. Uh, but, you know, we were very difficult to find out how to get to Kadba on your own. So we decided to just take a day trip to Halong Bay. Now, Halong Bay has two options. Hai. You can do a cruise trip where you actually spend the night there. Or you can do a day trip like we did. I was going to go to the uh, night stay bhi kiya tha par. It was an experience in case you want to experience uh, a cruise for a night, uh, definitely take it up because the views are stunning, the place is beautiful, the uh, limestone structures and the coral structures you'll see there are more than 500 million years old. Uh, and yes, it is an experience, especially if the weather is good. But this time uh, we took the day trip because uh, also the cruise is quite expensive. But for the day trip, I am giving the uh, all the details in the description along with the cost. So yeah, Halong Bay ka jo day trip tha again, it's about one, one and a half hours from Hanoi. They picked us up in the morning on dot, on time from the hotel, uh, actually the Airbnb, sorry and uh, yeah so we went a long way uh, the moment we reached we went to a smaller cruise uh, and you know we spent some time there we had lunch there vegetarians pick up the options there uh, then they took us to a cave then they took us uh, on kayaking unfortunately there was no snorkeling but kayaking was a lot of fun and uh, yeah then we came back on the cruise uh, and just enjoyed the views so uh, I think the trip started early morning around when we left the airbnb it was around 8 39 in the morning and by the time we came back it was around 7 7 30 so it's a full day thing and when we came back we just kind of again freshened up changed had our dinner and called it a night day four we took an early morning flight to my favorite city hoi an i just love that place uh jo hanoi se hoi an jane ke liye, the flight is uh, to Da Nang and uh, it's about uh, Hanoi to the airport is about 45 minutes and then it's about a one and a half hour flight. Uh, now you can choose to stay in Da Nang or Hoi An. Uh, da Nang is like a city with a beach and a lot of water sports and nightlife. Hoi An is an ancient town with lanterns and it just has a vibe and it's beautiful. So you need to decide what you would like to do. For me, it was Hoi An all the way. I did not even want to spend one night in Da Nang uh, because I have Hoi An ja chuki aur mujhe bahut zada pasand hai wo jaga. Uh, so uh, once we reached Hoi An, we uh, have actually Airbnb and hotel pehle book nahi kiya tha. But fortunately, we found a beautiful property called La Santa. Again, details in the description. It was very inexpensive. Uh, I'm also giving the cost details. The hotel was very comfortable. Uh, so yeah, so we reached uh, La Santa Hotel in Hoi An. Uh, now Hoi An also has, you know, uh, old quarter. So you can choose to live in old quarter if you want. Uh, or you can choose to live like, you know, somewhere close to old quarter. Uh, like we did 
सो वंस वी रीच थी होटल वी फ्रेश अप वी स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन द पूल बिकॉज बहुत गर्मी थी एंड देन वी चेंज एंड हेर इट टू दी ओल्ड क्वार्टर वहाँ का वाइब बहुत बहुत अच्छा है वी स्पेंड टाइम वॉकिंग द कैफेज इन हो आन आर अमेजिंग द फूड इज ग्रेट तो हमने वहाँ पर टाइम स्पेंड किया देन वी टुक द बोट राइड ऑन द रिवर विच इज़ अगेन वेरी पॉपुलर एंड वी मेड अ विश अगेन कहने के लिए वो क्या ओवर एटेड है बोट राइड नो इट्स अगेन एन एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज यू नो यू सिंग इन अ बोट and all around you you have boats with lanterns it's just so beautiful uh, i think the boat ride costs about uh, 250 rupees ya 300 rupees ka boat ride hai so very affordable uh, it's just a 20 minute thing but it's an experience so this is what we actually did on the first night and then we went to this place called tiger tiger uh, which is known for its party and we you know grooved a little bit so day 5 in hoyan uh, humne सुबह वी वेंट फॉर अ कॉरिकल बोट राइड इन दी कोकोनट विलेज अगेन काफ़ी टूरिस्टी है टू बी ऑनेस्ट दिस वन आउट ऑफ एवरी थिंग दैट वी डिड आई फाउंड द मोस्ट टूरिस्टी थिंग वो कराकल में बिठा के तुमको घुमाते हैं एंड दे यू नो लाइक जनरली दे दे गिव यू एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ हाउ इट इज बट आई फाउंड इट अ बिट ओवर रेटेड बट फिर भी आप वहाँ जा रहे हो तो यू नो वो भी अपना मीज हैट पहन के यू वुड वॉन्ट टू डू दैट Uh, the other thing I wanted to do, which I couldn't, which I'd done on the previous trip, was a cooking class. Uh, if you're going to Hoi An, please include a cooking class in your itinerary. It is so much fun. Uh, usually, two batches are there. One is at 8:30 a.m. batch in the morning, and there is another batch at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Book that in advance. You will find a lot of options online if you just type Hoi An cooking class. Uh, they take you to the uh, you know the vegetable market, which itself. in itself is an experience and then they take you on the board and then they take you to somebody's house where they teach you how to cook vietnamese food and trust me you're going to love it it is beautiful day 6 in hoi an uh, you can either choose to go to the beach which is about 15 minutes aap hoi an mein jahan se bhi hoge wahan pe or you can actually go to da nang which is about 45 minutes from hoi an and spend the day there You can also shop, shop, shop because वहाँ पे leather bags बहुत अच्छे मिलते हैं leather के सब कुछ बहुत अच्छा मिलता है ceramics मिलते हैं stationery मिलती है souvenirs and of course clothes. You get excellent clothes. Uh, वहाँ पे tailoring 24 hours में हो जाती है so if you have two days in Hoi An, you can actually get tailored clothes made with Vietnamese silk or Thai silk. Excellent options. So generally Hoi An में करने के लिए काफी कुछ है and that is the reason why I chose कि हम लोग थ्री days होयान में spend करें instead of going anywhere else. However, if you are interested in history and culture, you can plan this place called Hue एच यू ई ये अबाउट थ्री आवर्स फ्रॉम होयान है एंड यू कैन कीप अ डे फॉर दिस सिटी इट्स दी इट्स लाइक दी रियल एंशियन सिटी इज वॉट आई हर्ड विद द I think with the King's Palace there and lots of historical structures and uh, temples and monuments there. Uh, apparently, even the nightlife is very vibrant with the cafes and lanterns. We decided not to go there because we were already uh, very tired and the trip was already very hectic. And we wanted to experience one place properly rather than going jumping from one place to another place. So this was my little itinerary. Now, quickly moving on to some important questions: Is the visa on arrival? Uh, no, right now there is e visa which you can apply. I'm giving the website link in the description. Uh, one, two, three days ka option hai. Kafi simple form hai. Do I need travel insurance? No, but preferably, hamisha travel insurance hona chahiye. Uh, is uh, RT PCR a requirement? No. If you have the vaccination certificate, that is enough. वहाँ पे कौन सा सिम कार्ड काम करता है द मोमेंट यू लैंड एट द एयरपोर्ट यू कैन यू नो यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस सेलिंग द सिम कार्ड एंड बहुत ही अच्छे प्लान्स अवेलेबल होते हैं मैंने अपना एयरटेल का ही एक्टिवेट किया था फॉर टेन डेज इंटरनेशनल रोमिंग बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट मिस ऑन वर्क कॉल्स बट द लोकल सिम वर्क ग्रेट थे विद ग्रेट कनेक्टिविटी एंड ग्रेट इंटरनेट वर अबाउट द टिकट्स यू हैव दी ऑप्शन ऑफ टेकिंग डायरेक्ट फ्लाइट टू हनोई होचिमिन 
and I think very soon there'll be a flight directly to Da Nang, which is a great thing. Uh, we traveled on Vietjet. Uh, it's an economy flight, very affordable and convenient. How do I travel within the city? The best option is Grab. If you have local taxis or local transport, so it will be very expensive. Grab is the best. Download Grab before going. Uh, also, if you have to experience hand experience karna hai, then that's a completely different thing. That is also an experience. Hai. Is language a problem? Yes, it is. Uh, the younger lot uh, communicates a bit more in English than the older lot, but Google Translate works amazingly well. People have the habit that you use Google Translate use karoge, and they are more than happy to help you out. What about the currency? Now, what you can do is you can take dollars. Dollars are every jaga pe chalte hain, and at the airport you can do the conversion. Uh, what I would suggest is keep cash on you all the time because बहुत सारी जगहें हैं जहाँ पे card accept नहीं होता है especially if you're planning to do street shopping um, and eat at local joints वहाँ पे ये लेके चलो कि international cards नहीं चलेंगे also the other option is to withdraw local currency from your international debit card at the ATM there what about the food now food is not a challenge in a place like Da Nang or Hoi An at all in Hanoi you might have a little bit of problem in finding vegetarian food uh, yet you are going to get by it's just that use Google Translate and insist ki aapko vegetarian khana hi chahiye. Uh, trust me when I traveled I was traveling with a vegetarian and the person managed but in case you are very particular then you can carry the uh, you know pre-cooked meals from here even though I would still suggest uh, try the local options, uh, you know, you have the options like uh, sauteed uh, morning glory, basically that's uh, Chinese spinach uh, and, you know, wedge banh mi sandwich, etc., which are available in some places. So, yeah, you will get by. Are people friendly there? Very people are very welcoming, even though you don't have initially because you know the language is a bit of a barrier. But people are actually very helpful. Uh, at no point did we feel uh, that you know we are feeling we are, we are unsafe or at any point we didn't feel threatened. So that is a great thing. Of course, uh, you know dark alleyways se abdur rahe, which is a typical case in any any place that you go to, any tourist country that you go to. And one pro tip that I would like to give is that be very punctual. When they say 7 o'clock, they mean 7 o'clock. Wherever you will go, if you have a tour ka timing or yeah, if they say ki kayaking 20 minutes, hai, toh, that means 20 minutes and you need to follow that time. So that's about it. I really, really hope that you find this video helpful in some shape, manner or form. And I do hope that you get to visit this beautiful country. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. Bye. Oh, I forgot to say that. Please do subscribe to my channel.